I'm speaking today with Dr. John Harrison, an orthodontist who is, has his practice in St. Petersburg. And we're going to be talking about Propel Orthodontics. Propel Orthodontics is an innovative technique which dramatically accelerates the rate at which teeth are moved in your orthodontic treatment. Does this Propel system replace braces, John? No, Jerry, it does not replace braces. Braces will be with us for the rest of my lifetime anyway. Propel is an acceleration technique that helps teeth move faster through bone. It's something that's been long awaited because that's the first question we're always asked is how long or will my treatment take? In using this Propel system, how do you see that it benefits your patients? Well, I don't think we want to use Propel for every patient that we're treating. I think it's uh, more to the point where we have difficult orthodontics to perform. Uh, we have adults that are anxious for treatment to be as short as possible. Uh, I think it, it, it's another thing that has a specific niche. Uh, not for everybody, but certainly for some percentage of our patient base particularly adults. Is this Propel system more expensive? Uh, the cost of using Propel is a modest increase. A modest increase. Well worth it. Is it painful? Well, it isn't painful at all if you uh, use the right topical anesthetics, which is critical to the system, so that it is not painful. We would not want to... Uh, we take great pride nowadays in painless dentistry. and. Uh, we want to uphold that, that virtue and uh, the, the anesthetics are very profound, they're, they're topical which is nice, you don't need a local, there's no needle injection needed. It's a topical application of a very strong uh, and it's a combination of anesthetics. Is this Propel system safe to use? Well, it is very safe because every applicator is its own sterile one-time, one-use, throwaway unit. So uh, it is very safe. Will it weaken my teeth or bone? All right, that's a good question, Jerry, and that's how this whole thing started in the first place with bone research. A bone that is injured, a broken bone, is going to heal stronger than it was originally. Uh, you break your arm, that heals like it should, uh, that bone will be stronger at the break point than it was before it was broken. So. Uh, absolutely it does not weaken bone. Uh, the second thing, you really, it doesn't have anything to do with the teeth because your, your, the bone is, is affected only, not the tooth itself. I understand this Propel Orthodontics has been around since 2010, which is relatively new. Do you have any uh, studies on on this Propel system? Well, there are a lot of studies and we would encourage, and I do, every patient that we would w want to use Propel on certainly does their homework and goes on WebMD, all the websites that we have to get very well acquainted with the history of the technique, which is called uh, micro osteopreparation, which means there are, yeah, big, big word, there are other big words associated with it also. Um, but yes, there are, there are a number of studies and actually uh, the whole technique started way before 2010. Propel, as it has evolved, has come out in 2010, but the technique of accelerated orthodontics goes back to really the year 2000. So we're about 14 years into this kind of uh, research. Did you bring a sample of uh, what the device looks yeah, like? Yes, I did. I brought a sample of what we could call as a jawbone. It's, of course, it's a model, uh, a plastic model of half of a lower jaw. And I, I brought the device. A sterilized device right here for one use is about like a, like a, about like a fountain pen. Inside this is a, a tiny little bone stiletto. And what is done is this is put right up against the adjacent to the tooth where you want to put the micro perforation. You turn the handle and it goes in, the little stabbing stiletto goes into the bone, a certain designated amount, three millimeters, whatever you have dialed in, 
because in the front it will go in less than in the back. And when you turn the, turn the dial, it goes into the bone to a specific distance, a light comes on, and you unscrew it. And it, there's no sensation that you've done anything. No wound involved, no bleeding involved. Very easy to do. Three to five minutes you'd be done? Uh, well, it depends on how many places you're going to perforate. So uh, it, would, it could take, you could easily be through in three to five minutes, certainly, yeah. That five minutes would give you time to do as much as you wanted. Thank you, John. I appreciate that information. Thank you so much.